spices are a must for enhancing the taste of food and when it comes to Indian cuisine heavy use of spices makes our food doubly tasty Indian spices have a very special standing in almost all the countries in the world and the Indian Spice Research Center is constantly working to keep the quality of Indian spices high at this center new technology is being used to develop new varieties of Indian spices so let us savor the taste of things to come Indian spices have been in high demand throughout history and in fact from ancient times. They are endowed with the quality of enhancing the taste and flavor of all kinds of food. And as time passed the demand for these spices increased. Consequently scientific research started to take place on these crops. To facilitate this research and make it better Indian Institute of Spice Research was created in 1995. The institute, spread over 14.3 hectares of land, is located at Chulhur, some 11 kilometers from Calicut in Kerala. Spices, as we all know, we consume not only for its uh, culinary purposes, but also as a medicine. In our 12th plan, we have plans to develop products which end up in the market as a spice or, the, or as a medicine, so that the value of spices goes up. The institute-run Cardamom Research Center is the only center of its kind in the entire country. Scientists researching here are involved in finding out newer methods and techniques to boost the yield of cardamom. To make available these techniques to the farmers, the institute has set up agricultural science centers. Farmers, as well as unemployed women and youth, are trained here. And to spread its work across the country, the Institute has set up Spices Research Centers in collaboration with various universities of India. The Institute has preserved germplasms of various spices, including 2,575 germplasms of pepper, 435 of green cardamom, 685 of ginger, and 1,040 germplasms of turmeric. Scientists at the Institute help farmers grow commercially important spices under all environmental conditions. Along with the cultivation technology, the Institute has also developed some advanced techniques for the storage of these spices. The biotechnology department working at the Institute has been highly successful in identifying and dealing with bacteria that affects the plants. Before we start research projects, we also take into account the research needs of the industry, the exporters are all concerned. For example, a farmer is interested in his yield, whereas an exporter is interested in a quality product. The Institute has also set up the Agricultural Information Technology Center in 2002, where multimedia platform is used to give crop diseases consultancy to farmers easily. Apart from that, the Institute has also set up a rich library on subjects related to spice growing. Also available are technical reports, scientific journals, online database and 24-hour internet connectivity. And with that ends this edition of your sojourn in science this week. So, how did you like the program? You are welcome to send your comments and suggestions to us by email. Our email address is news at vigyanprasar.gov.in. You can also send the suggestions by post. Our postal address is Vigyan Prasar, C24, Kutub Institutional Area, New Delhi, 110016. We shall meet you again next week with more news and information in science this week. Till then, goodbye and namaskar. <laughs>